what's up? Hello. I'm getting ready right now. For what, you may be asking? You probably aren't asking, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I'm getting ready for God Seven's concert today. Exactly one year ago today, I saw them at the Forum, and my life has changed forever. They were my first K-pop concert, and the first time that I understood the true meaning of post-concert depression. So I'm excited! My friend Teresa got two other tickets and she didn't need them so she gave them to me and I gave one of them to my friend Esmeralda who you guys saw in my last vlog. But yeah, right now I'm getting ready so I just thought I'd film a little, I guess, montage of me getting ready for you guys. So, um, get excited for that. I'm a This, guys, this is a liquid illuminator from Sugar Babe Cosmetics. I've been using them for a hot minute, and I work with them. Um, this is a liquid highlighter in mocha, and if you guys want to buy this, oops. if you want to buy this, please, please, please use my code DEJA, just my name, I'll put it on the screen. Use my code DEJA to get money off of it, and you will love it as much as I do. It's a part of my routine now, and I put it underneath my foundation, and it's the best. <laughs> So I switched over to filming on my phone because um, I don't know if they're gonna allow me. Sorry, this is unflattering. So I switched over to my phone because I don't think they'll let me bring in my vlog camera for the concert. So I'm just gonna vlog on here for the rest of the night. This is my outfit, Ooh, fashion over from head to toe. These glasses and the dress, so. I am so excited, guys. I am like through the roof. I'm so excited. Let's go. And just like that, I was off. I was ready for the night. I called my Uber. He came in 
less than 2.5 seconds. I swear to God, sometimes the Uber app scares me. Like I'll call my Uber and then like in two seconds, it'll be like downstairs. And I'm like, oh my God, don't leave me. Cause some of these Uber drivers in LA, they are trifling and they are petty. I remember one time, this is just like sidetrack. I just want to tell y'all this real quick. One time I called an Uber, I was crossing the street and this guy saw me, he looked me dead in my face and just drove away. And I haven't been the same since, like I just get anxiety at the thought of my Uber leaving me. So I haven't been the same since that day. But anyway, back to the story. So I was in my Uber and it seemed as if we were moving at a snail's pace or maybe that was just me. Like my mind and my heart and my brain was just on a thousand and my Uber driver was not matching that. Tell me why my Uber driver, he had every window in the car down and it was really windy and my hair was all over the place and I kept fixing it and he saw me trying to fix it and I'm just like, bro, if you see me trying to fix my hair, then, then why are you, why are the windows still down? If you know I'm not feeling it, close the windows! But anyway, sorry, I think I peaked my mic just now. We finally made it to the Forum in Inglewood, California and right there, right in front of my salad, I saw GOT7 Keep Spinning World Tour today and i was so excited i literally thought i was gonna pee in my uber thank god i didn't but i was so excited so i walked over and first thing i noticed that a lot of the fans were just staring at me i mean that's like an la thing is that people just have a staring problem it's really weird like you don't really know unless you're in it but people in la they don't say hi they don't say excuse me they don't open the door they just stare at you and like i guess it makes sense because you know everybody in la is like attractive or they're not Oh my god, then why were they- Oh, were they staring at me because I wasn't cute? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I got to the forum, I was walking around, I saw a lot of fans. There was like a merch, I guess like store? Like, it was like a cart or something. It was, it was like, it looked like it was supposed to be attached to the back of a truck. Okay, there, you get the visual. But there was a merch truck and there was a t-shirt that was a whole $55 for like, like iron on letters and I'm like you know what got seven I love y'all but not like that Jesus $55 for a shirt I could probably make at home um no so I waited for Esmeralda to show up and when she did guys she blessed my eyes she looked so freaking cute she looked a little she looked cooler than me okay there I said it Esme looked a lot cooler than me for the concert and I'm kind of mad about it but you know what? I'll, I'll one-up her next time. Esme, I'm gonna one-up you next time, okay? I'm like glowing. Esme, are you proud of me? I'm like glowing. The whole fit is from Fashion Nova, guys, besides the jacket, but like, mm -hmm. Dress, glasses, Fashion Nova. Y'all should sponsor me. This is like a free shout out. You should sponsor me. I mean, come on, look at me. Are you kidding? Guys, these girls gave us like GOT7 photo cards. I wanted one of Jackson, but they ran out. Hold on. <laughs> so they gave us photo cards. She got hers with Bam Bam. I got one of the group because they ran out of Jackson. Yes, so everybody loves Jackson cards. Honestly? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I love each and every single one of them. Mm -hmm. But this one right here. Yup. We can start crying. We love crying. Well, not with these lashes. This full face is Fenty. Actually, I think my lashes popping off, but I'm not sure. Y'all, I don't think Esme understands the magnitude of what's about to happen. We're about to hear Eclipse and Paige live. In the flesh. In person. Jackson, if you see this, if you ever see this, just know. Hit me up. Hit me up, my DMs. They're open for you only. Oh my god. You're no... <laughs> My hair looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. And I like your hair too. I like you. Wow, I love that for me. I like you too. In like a more than friends kind of way. We were just talking about how Jackson Wang should utilize the fact that he's literally sex on a stick and come out with Team Wang uh, bra and panty sets. And if he doesn't, it's a missed opportunity. You know what? What would it even look like to say Team Wang on my crotch? Someone's gonna try to like pull him down and be like, it seemed, it seemed like time just went on by because the next thing I knew we were in the venue. I, I totally forgot how big but how also like intimate the form is. So no matter where you were in the venue, you had a good spot. And let me tell you, Esme and I had a great spot. Then the venue started playing music and getting everybody hyped up for the show and everyone was swinging around there. Got seven lights or whatever. I was about to say an army bomb. <laughs> Oop. And then the lights in the house went down and everybody lost 
their marbles. Then there was that little preview, not preview, but like the, the, uh, like the introduction to the concert, I guess? Like they filmed something to go before the guys come out on stage, so that was playing, and then the music started getting louder and more dramatic, and then the three screens that were on stage started to lift, and out from the shadows appeared seven sexy men, one Chinese, one Thai, also known as God Seven. <laughs> just living my full fantasy and they started walking down those steps looking all suave looking all good and then the music to eclipse started and i thought i was going to have an aneurysm i was like oh we're already just going into it bet let's do it then and then after that they started to introduce themselves like we didn't already know who the hell they were but like i just love to hear them talk like I, if i'm to be honest i would pay great money to just hear them talk like if the concert for some reason like didn't work out and they just talked the whole time i would have been so entertained because i think got seven are just like one of the most entertaining k-pop groups in the industry like uh, like besides you know shiny and bts i think they are the most entertaining k-pop group ever they don't have to sing they just have to be themselves and i will have the time of my life every single song every set was just so amazing it was sometimes it was too much to handle sometimes i was just like if y'all don't stop doing that i'm gonna hurl myself from the balcony and y'all are gonna be responsible for my demise you know what i mean like just little things like that there was a lot of crying there was a lot of screaming there was a lot of wondering how we were blessed enough to be in the same room as these beautiful men. But at the end of the day, we just enjoyed ourselves and we were just so happy to have experienced this. That is my experience seeing GOT7 in concert for the second time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big old thumbs up. That helps, you know. That's that's cool. If you like it, you know, maybe I'll do more stuff like this. Also, oh, you should you should subscribe too. You know, you can you can subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss out whenever I post a video. Uh, if you want to follow me on all my social media, they'll be uh, linked below and they'll be on the screen, so you have no excuse to not follow me. And until I see you guys again next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. I think I love